To measure the impedance of your meter, you can take a power supply Look on the left, 60 hertz, 7.1 volts RMS, uh, add in series a resistance substitution box, and adjust that uh, variable resistor uh, until the voltage is split between it and the DMM. So I got my uh, function generator set to sine wave and the amplitude is 20 volts peak to peak, 60 hertz. Uh, yeah, that's kind of, that's what we use in the field. So basically what we want to do is we want to half this because this is the voltage uh, here is going to be uh, peak to peak is 20. So half of that is 10. And then the RMS is going to be 0 0.707 times that. And that's why we have 7.1 volts approximately uh, RMS on the meter. So I'm going to see where the voltage is halved at. So basically we're looking for about 3.6 volts. So on this one I put a 10 mega ohm resistor um, in series with the box because this thing only goes up to 10 mega ohms and it looks like we're past that. So yeah we're, we're right there so we'll call it 14 mega ohms input impedance. And in the manual it says it's greater than 10 mega ohms uh, input impedance on the Fluke 77. So uh, this is my GTC and we're going to one mega ohms. All of a sudden we're, we're pretty much there. In fact, we passed it at one mega ohms. So I'm gonna go to 900 kilo, uh, 900 kilo ohms and we're, pre we're pretty much there. So we're gonna call it 900 kilo ohms input impedance for the GTC CM100. All right, and there's the field piece SC640 multimeter. Now let's go to one, that's not gonna get us there. Two, three, mega ohms, four. So five's close. Yeah. So, looks like 5.3. Five point one, yeah, five. We'll call it five. Five mega ohms. It's the input impedance uh, for the field piece 